People are knocking the Nintendo Switch for not having any launch titles. Compared to other systems in the past, things are looking a little sparse. But this is Nintendo here. Will quality win over quantity? And were other system launches in the past really that much better? Yes, I'm a Nintendo fanboy, but I'm not a Nintendo apologist. I'm capable of criticizing them for, let's say, not having a pack-in game or having a stupid app on your phone to have the voice chat when you could just put it on the damn system. They claim it's because the system doesn't have any 4G data and they want you to be able to game on the go, but you're not gonna be playing multiplayer games on the go because it doesn't have 4G data. So why not just have the capability over Wi-Fi and if you wanna put it on the damn phone, then put it on the damn phone too, but you should have both. Why not build the functionality into the Switch, and if you want to have your stupid app, you can have the stupid app too. I'm sorry. This is supposed to be about the Switch launch titles. There are six. There's 1-2 Switch, Just Dance 2017, Skylanders Imaginators, Zelda Breath of the Wild, Super Bomberman R, and The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. Of those, only three of them are Nintendo exclusives, and only two of them are Nintendo Switch exclusives. That doesn't sound like too big of a lineup. Breath of the Wild is already coming out on Wii U, so if you already have a Wii U, maybe you want to hold off on the Switch for a little bit. But judging by the poor sales of the Wii U, you most likely don't have one. So would people buy a Wii U for Zelda over the Switch? Probably not. The PS4 had 24 launch titles. That's six times more than the Switch. One of those was Angry Birds Star Wars, so quality wasn't their goal here. Of those 24 titles, only four were PS4 exclusives. Killzone, Knack, we all know what happened with Knack, Rezogun, a downloadable indie game, which is probably the best exclusive that they had, and Super Motherload, which came out on the PS3 just one week after it came out on the PS4. I remember when I got a PS4, I got Assassin's Creed Black Flag and Battlefield 4. There was nothing else that I wanted to get the rest of the year and into the following year. On launch week, the best-selling titles for the PS4 were, in order, Call of Duty Ghosts, Battlefield 4, Assassin's Creed Black Flag, Killzone Shadowfall, and NBA 2K14. Only one of those was an exclusive. This could be a commentary on how the Switch needs more third-party support, which it absolutely does, but that doesn't mean that you need to throw Call of Duty on there, because that just doesn't fit with the Switch. It can't compete in that way, and why would you want to have a dumbed-down sh** version of Call of Duty anyway? Actually, I have another video that talks about why there shouldn't be a Call of Duty on the Switch, or why you shouldn't want to play that, and you can click this little eye right here if you want to see that, you know what to do. I think it's safe to assume that the Switch isn't going to do PS4 numbers at launch, especially if you include games in there, because there just aren't any. But Nintendo knows this. They make a profit on their hardware sales anyway. Sony and Microsoft don't. They actually take a loss on their hardware sales. So if you bought a Switch and bought one game, that would be the same amount of profits that Sony would see if you bought a PS4 and bought two games. Nintendo has this figured out. Besides, I didn't even mention the launch window games. You still have Has Been Heroes, I Am Setsuna, and Snipper Clippers coming out in March, and ARMS, Mario Kart 8, Poyo Poyo, Tetris, and Sonic Mania coming out in spring. ARMS and Mario Kart 8 Deluxe are gonna be big sellers on the Switch. Nintendo also has a great conversion rate too. Half of all Wii U owners own Mario Kart 8. Half. If you consider that nobody bought a f***ing Wii U, then a ton of people are gonna buy Mario Kart 8 on the Switch. And what do you think the conversion rate's gonna be for Zelda at launch? I think it's gonna be over 70%, which is insane. Because when you buy the system, you're gonna need a game. And look at that launch lineup. The popular one's Zelda. The one everybody's freaking out about is Zelda. Also, I think Nintendo is launching this system early in the year to lure out early adopters. They build up content and persuade buyers, including parents, to buy it later on during the holiday season. Worked for the 3DS. That price drop might have also helped. A potential problem for the Switch would be managed scarcity. Hopefully, since this thing is launching so early in the year, they'll be able to gauge how much interest they have so that later in the year during the holiday season, they'll know how much they need to supply. Judging by Nintendo's past, they're not gonna do that, and it's gonna be a whole show during the holiday season. So pre-order this thing if you can. But let's not forget about the Wii. The Wii was very hard to get for the first two years it was out. Two holiday seasons where you couldn't get the thing, and it sold like crazy. It was one of the best-selling consoles of all time. So managed scarcity sucks for the consumer, but it doesn't suck that much for the company. And if you're worried about there not being enough content to justify a purchase, well, you don't buy this thing as your only game console. You need something else to play all of the good multi-platform AAA games. You get the Switch for the exclusive titles. Zelda, Mario, Bomberman, 
If you ever forget about Bomberman, we'll kill you in your fuck. So what do you guys think about the Nintendo Switch's launch lineup? Which games are you gonna get? It's probably Zelda. You're probably just gonna get Zelda. But what about Bomberman? That's like the one that I saw that during the thing and I was like, this is the best one that they have. Why aren't they putting any more effort into Bomberman? It's great. I've been waiting for a Bomberman for all, for all this time. Leave it in the comments below. Add me on Twitter. All this other social media garbage. You might notice that this is weird and different is because I'm at the YouTube space right now. I had nothing else to film, so I just did one of these videos and it was just a total waste of, of hard drive space. So if you like the way this looks, don't get used to it. Don't forget about Wolf Den Live every single Wednesday at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. And don't forget about the art over on the ShoddyCast YouTube channel. And remember the most important things that you can do is subscribe and share this video with a friend, a friend who is going nuts about the Nintendo Switch and doesn't shut up about it. This video will shut them up about it. No, it won't. It'll probably make it worse. Thank you guys very much. Have a good week. And here's the, here's the whole rest of the production crew. Everybody say hi. There's just legs over there. <laughs> <laughs> I was just a camera with legs. <laughs>